quantum physics is spooky. The theory implies that tiny particles, like electrons or photons, can be in different states at the same time and can influence each other even over large distances. Scientists like Einstein didn't believe that was possible. But now, a fiendishly clever experiment has finally proven that even particles physically separated from each other can influence each other instantaneously. The experiment is called a Bell test and usually involves two particles. Each particle can be in one of two states, here represented by red and green. But in the Bell test, the two particles are entangled, which means that when one particle is green, the other has to be red, and vice versa. Now, quantum physics says that both particles actually exist in both states at the same time. That is, until you measure them. And if they're entangled, when you measure one of them, the other will also instantly resolve into the other state. It's as if the distant particles are somehow influencing each other, faster than the speed of light. Sounds impossible? Einstein certainly thought so. Scientists have been trying different versions of the Bell test for decades, and it seems like quantum theory is right, but there are two problems. You can do the Bell test with photons, but it's hard to detect them all, so we don't know what information we might be missing. Electrons are easier to detect, but the problem here is getting them far enough apart while keeping them entangled. If they're too close together, the measured electron could be communicating with its partner without breaking the speed of light, so we can't be sure that they're influencing each other instantaneously. These two loopholes in the Bell test meant that Einstein could never really be proved wrong. Until now. A new and improved Bell test closes both loopholes, using both electrons and photons. The scientists started off with two unentangled and isolated electrons over a kilometre apart, both existing in two states at once. Each of these was entangled with a photon. Then they made the photons interact with each other, so that they also became entangled. So now the first electron is entangled with a photon that's entangled with another photon that's entangled with the second electron. You've now got two entangled electrons over a kilometre apart. And using this new method, the scientists found that when you measure the state of one electron, it does indeed instantaneously determine the state of the other. Einstein was wrong. Quantum physics really is spooky. Whoa!